Today we are talking Noel guards. That's these types of mesh predator protectors and you will actually see them on nest boxes looking something like this. So if you were wondering what these were, uh, that's what this video is all about. I also want to say um, sorry if you're picking up any kind of background noises, um, lawn care and stuff like that. It's just a nice day and people are out and there's just a lot going on. So hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm hoping this mic does the trick and I do apologize if there's some crazy noises that you're also hearing. Anyway, so getting into it, a Noel Guard is a metal mesh predator protector that goes over the nest box and um, it allows entrance but what it does is it it basically extends the entrance in, in a sense and that makes it hard for certain types of predators to access the nest box some designs also this one particularly has spikes and that's just how um, the metal mesh was cut to and the spikes make it more discouraging for predators like raccoons to reach their arm in because then they're getting kind of not stab but pricked a little bit with uh the spikes on the noel guard so then they're maybe going to be less persistent trying to get into the box as far as the types of predators this protects against it's great against raccoons it's great against possums it probably works pretty decently against cats squirrels it's a little debatable and honestly with how persistent and how clever squirrels are and because they're smaller uh it's possible that they could probably get in or, or perch on or cling on and bend in. But the nice thing is, you know, this design does really create some distance between a squirrel getting in and uh, the actual entry hole. So those are things to consider. Um, another great benefit for the Noel Guard is if you have a resident hawk or if you have crows that frequent the area or blue jays, uh, these are really helpful to have. <laughs> Sometimes a cooper's hawk, for instance, will perch on the nest box and, um, you know, sometimes it's just a perch and that's all it is. But there have been incidences where they, you know, bend over, get their head in, reach out, pull out a nestling, pull out an egg, what have you, and it's kind of game over. Uh, crows have also been known to do the same thing. And so by extending um, access to the entry hole, it would make it very difficult for uh, hawks and crows um, to get in. As far as predators, the Noel Guard is not effective against. It's not going to work against snakes and it's definitely not going to work against chipmunks. Chipmunks can definitely crawl in and get around all of this, no problem. And snakes, same thing, their scales are protective. They can get around the spikes even. I had a snake in my rose bush, so, so I know that thorns and spikes are no issue and so they can crawl in, get into the nest hole, and game over. So that brings me to what I always say is have a good stovepipe baffle on your pole. So properly mount your nest box and have a stovepipe baffle on. The stovepipe baffle should be at least eight inches in diameter by 24 inches tall and it should wobble. Um, taller is always better but they're not as widely available. You have to make those so the best option that's commercially available is the 8x24. So that's just something to think about. Um, one um, benefit though is that uh, pairing your stovepipe baffle with a Noel guard does actually create more benefit to the birds in general and this is especially the case if you are managing a trail and again you have like a resident hawk or there are crows on the premises that does add protection. Um, one other thing I do want to mention about you know what what these protect against and what they don't these are not effective against preventing house sparrow invasions or starling invasions or house wren invasions so uh, for that you want to use uh, sparrow spookers and wren guards and um, also practice trapping and euthanizing or you can try passive methods where you trap and give to a falconer or trap and um, clip wings so uh, that's just something to know. It will not deter house sparrows. Pros and cons of a Noel guard. Um, pros are that they're very affordable. You can get these for about 10 or $15 on Amazon or at uh, like a wild bird store. Um, they're also very easy to make. So if you were gonna just make it yourself, you can get hardware cloth of like a five by, like five foot by, I think it's 24 inches. Uh, you can get that for probably about 10 or $15 at a hardware store and while you won't use all of that for this little thing. The hardware wire does come in handy if you have a garden and want to keep rabbits from eating all of your um, vegetables. Um, so it, it, it is good for other things. Um, so 
those are some positives. Also, again, birds of prey and raccoons, it is a good deterrent for them. And pairing with a stove pipe baffle, it also is beneficial for that. But the cons, so the cons are uh, one, sometimes they're not going to fit the box. And uh, like if you buy one, it could be too wide for the box. And this one was almost too wide. I had to kind of mush it together just to mount it. Um, so that is a con that is remedied again. Sorry for the noise. I hear it. Um, that is remedied by uh, if you look at how these are made, um, here is where the squares overlap. And so if you wanted to adjust the size of it or the width of it, you could cut a row of squares and cut on this side the corresponding row of squares and then use um, if you see here it's held together by wire so you can use thin wire to basically stitch it back together and you're basically um, by cutting a half inch row of squares out you're reducing the width by half an inch and that that could uh, be making all the difference there downside to this which brings me into the next con is that by tightening it um, your birds may be less willing to accept it. And in general, birds sometimes have trouble accepting Noel guards. So that is something that after installing, you wanna be uh, looking out for. Are your bluebirds, are your chickadees, are your tree swallows still going into the box? And if not, I would take this down for sure. Um, so yeah, that is a downside to it. Another con, which is also fixable, is that for boxes that open from the bottom up, like this one, um, sorry, I, I put stuff in here, um, but for bo uh, boxes that open like this, the guard, as you see, will prevent you from actually looking inside the box if you're trying to monitor and do nest checks. The way to fix that is if you drill um, holes down at the bottom and basically put your screws down so that when you do it, you, you pivot it down. You would take these screws out I would leave one though to work as your pin. So you would leave one in, and then if you wanna do your nest checks, you would just unscrew that a little bit, and now it pivots from the bottom, and you just pull it down and do your nest checks that way. Uh, last con that I can really think of is uh, pairing these with Ren guards. So um, when you put the Ren guard, when you put a Ren guard on, because of how far this comes out, you're gonna need a pretty wide Ren guard. And the other downside about that is as you close up the space like this, it may also make too much of an obstruction for your birds to where they are not happy, they're having a hard time getting in. So it's, it's not something that you can't do. You can definitely put a Ren guard on, but you will need to have a modified design to do it. And then you will need to watch your birds and make sure that they're accepting it. That's the basics behind a Noel guard and things that you should consider if you're thinking about getting a Noel guard. I've got links for a Noel guard design and also links to find one on Amazon. Definitely when you're looking on Amazon and you're looking at the design, look at the width of the Ren guard and the width of your nest box to make sure that it's gonna fit. And if it's not gonna fit, Again, you, you can snip it and modify it, but um, if it's too tight, you just wanna be kind of careful. I hope this video was helpful um, and thanks for watching.